What is going on everybody? It is me, Jay Renard, and we are here with another of my favorite days. Unboxing day. Let's get to it, shall we? Alright, so this is a video that has nothing to do with uh, leather craft that I have made, but this has something to do with uh, a unique portion of leather craft that I see a whole lot down here where I live, because I live in, in not just Texas, but very South Texas. And that is cowboy boots. So I've got several pair um, of various different types of material. So I've got cowhide, buffalo hide, um, or, yeah, I think three of cowhide, one of buffalo hide, one of stingray, one of elephant. And this here is my very first pair of uh, reptile boots. These from Corral are Cayman. So, Cayman is a crocodilian species native to Central and South America. They are smaller than your average crocodile that you'll see outside of uh, this area. There's a species of crocodile native to Cuba. I thought it was a species of alligator. I was wrong. And... Uh, then you have your Nile crocodiles, then you have your saltwater crocodiles that are native to Australia. Uh, so, and the Cayman are the ones that are native to Central and South America. And they have, as I've experienced uh, in hand, their tails are a much harder uh, temper. They're much more stiff. And I believe that has to do with just the nature of caiman as compared to alligator. So let me go ahead and get you some examples. So, this here is Cayman Tail. So you can see here, this is the bottom portion of the cloaca. And so this here would be the very bottom of the tail. These scales here would be the side of the tail as it curves up towards the, the ridges on the back. So, very bottom of the tail sides of the tail and you can tell from the sound hold on one second whoa sorry about that that is hard and it moves really well like this along the 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 ridge line here it moves really really well not so much here these plates there's movement in between but very little in the plates here uh, because they are just a little bit more armored a little bit more sturdy every single gator hide that i've had and every single regular crocodile hide that i've had that wasn't a caiman 
it moves really really well in those plates uh, in those gaps between the plates here and super easy in the plates on the tail there so that's just something that I've noticed with the caiman so though it's a smaller species I have not seen a gator or a crocodile hide that you know that I've gotten where the tail was as stiff as this is this almost feels as if it's a safety toe type of boot it's really really hard but because of where the uh, the ridges are here it actually moves really really well uh, less so because I'm pushing it with my hands but when I'm walking around with it these plates there's they're uh, positioned in such a way that walking in it is actually really really comfortable these move quite well and so I got these because I love the texture All right, let me turn this down a bit this might be a little too harsh love the look and the texture I loved how the toe box is I, I prefer a squared toe box for my uh, for my Western boots uh, the round toe and the, the snip toe not really my thing um, so it gave me the the look that I was wanting here but it's a little wider it's a little chunkier as compared to my other boots but I also loved this portion of the boot here I loved all the detail work that's in there it's gonna focus on there there we go there's a lot going on here Nice little details all over the place. I like these things here. And also, the details on the, I believe this is the quarter, if I'm remembering right. So you've got the toe or the toe box, the vamp, the quarter, then the heel here and this whole portion of the boot is referred to as the shaft loving every bit of this and and the reason why it was so easy for me to get today because or it is because today is my birthday and i decided that i was going to treat myself so I treated myself to these boots here, genuine Cayman from Corral, and I wanted to show folks the the difference between uh, Cayman hide, or at least what you can see upon uh, immediate examination and feel, and your gator hides. Unfortunately, I don't have any crocodile hides especially not a crocodile come on focus especially not crocodile tail so I can't show you the difference there but uh, please believe me <laughs> it's uh, looks very very similar uh, to this when the crocodile and alligator uh, scale shapes are a little bit different so you can tell there uh, truthfully it's as near as makes no difference um, although I will say this, so far as the Western boot style, um, you'd think that alligator and uh, crocodile, and that's that's either Nile crocodile or uh, a saltwater crocodile from Australia, or caiman, would all be the same price, especially here in the U.S. market, because reptile is reptile, or rather crocodilian is crocodilian not the case at all so if you're looking for some uh, some crocodile type shoes your best bet if you aren't trying to break the bank because these weren't cheap to begin with is to go with Cayman um, Cayman leather uh, Cayman leather boots are gonna be between one and two hundred and fifty dollars cheaper 
I'm sorry, 100 to 250 dollars cheaper uh, retail price than uh, American Alligator. And so, me personally, I think that's a little ridiculous because Cayman comes from outside the U.S. Near as I can tell, Cayman were never native to what is now the United States. Um, American Alligator is native to uh, the the Gulf Coast area all the way down into Florida. Um, technically, you could find them as far north as into Georgia. I've heard Oklahoma in uh, rivers and whatnot. Or, I'm sorry, in, uh, yeah, in rivers and whatnot. So, alligator is native to the U.S. It doesn't need to clear customs. But it's far more expensive than Cayman, which comes from outside the U.S., and has to clear customs leaving whatever country it came from and have taxes or the duty paid uh, there and arriving. So I'm not sure why Cayman costs so much less or in my opinion why American Alligator is being overcharged in the uh, western boot market, truthfully in all the, the, the shoe market in general. But the look is more or less the same. Uh, you can see that there are some uh, uh, pitting or pitted markings that are normal in Cayman here that are not in uh, alligator and crocodile uh, but truthfully uh, the look is the look and if you're trying to achieve that particular look and not spend two you know, between one and 250 sometimes more on on the look go with the uh, go with the Cayman uh, now, I can't sit here and tell you to go with this particular brand. I haven't worn these. This is not a review. Um, but I did try them out when I was in the store. Definitely did that. And I liked how they felt. But I do want to wear these around for a couple of weeks, break them in, and then uh, post the reviews and whatnot there. So that'll happen later. But here we go. This is my birthday treat to myself. And I decided to go ahead and do this unboxing and then talk a bit about uh, the crocodilian leather, uh, the differences in the, how they look and how they feel. Again, gator and crocodile bend very easily along this axis and along this axis. Cayman bends very, very well along this axis. But these plates are much harder. They're only going to bend in between these seams. The scales themselves are not really going to bend. That's not a... There we go. Yeah, see that? A little bit of pressure right there. But you don't want that. So if you're going to use this in something, um, say a wallet or whatnot, make sure that you cut along the seams or have, have the folds for whatever it is that you're making be on the seam so that it moves easier. All right, there, there you have it. I've rambled on for a bit. It's been almost 15 minutes. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I'm Jay Renard and I'm out. Peace. All right, let's put these bad boys away. Put them on later. Happy birthday to me.